Adrian, my ex is so stubborn, you don't understand. This is something that I hear every day. If you're coming out of a relationship and you just got broken up with or you broke up with your ex and you're looking to get back together, odds are you feel like your ex is stubborn. They're hard-headed. They don't want to hear your plea. They don't want to understand where you're coming from. They don't want to realize that you're ready to change and that you finally understood what led to the breakup. Hello everyone, my name is Adrian. For those that don't know me, I am a relationship expert from the website withmyexagain.com. My partner Alex and I specialize in helping people from all over the world, from all walks of life, get back with a person that they love but that they're no longer in a relationship with. So, odds are that if you're watching this video, you too feel like your ex is stubborn and that they don't understand what you're trying to tell them, okay? It's normal for you to feel this way. But let me explain. In order to break up, someone must come to the conclusion that it is impossible for the relationship to go on. They've tried to salvage things. You've tried to communicate around the things that needed to change. But in their opinion, it's a done deal. It's a lost cause. So for them, the decision is already made. If in the days following the breakup, or even weeks after, you're still trying to convince them that they made a mistake and that you can change and that you love them, odds are that they're not gonna budge because that should have happened weeks before in their eyes. So what can you do? How can you convince an ex that is stubborn that you are the one for them? I wanna talk to you about Julian. Julian is a person that I coached, whose ex left him because he was too selfish. Julian neglected the person that he was with, and ultimately that led to the breakup or the separation. As soon as the breakup occurred, Julian rushed back to this woman who loved him and who had dealt with him for years, and he said, I finally understand. I finally understand that I'm too selfish and I'm, I'm, I'm ready to change. I know for a fact something's different and this is it, please take me back. But his ex-wife was telling him that should have happened years ago. If not years ago, then months ago. I already trusted you and you let me down. So Julian was stuck. He was faced with a situation where his wife was being stubborn she didn't believe that he was capable of changing. And he could not convince her, he could not convince her through his words that he had understood what was wrong and that he was ready to take the next step to invest himself fully into the relationship and to value her the way that she needed to be valued. So he came to me and he said, Adrian, my ex is stubborn. She doesn't want to understand that I've really understood what was wrong in a relationship. Please help me. So I told him, okay. Julian, are you sure that you're ready to take the next step? Are you sure that you're really ready to change? Because if you're not really ready to change, I can't work with you. It's, it's, not gonna, it's not gonna happen for you. And he told me, yes, Adrian, I'm telling you, I promise I'm ready to change. So I said, okay, stop reaching out to your ex. For the next three weeks, we are going to put in place certain objectives certain goals on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, to ensure that you live out your change. That indeed, you prove to yourself that you have really changed before you go running, <clears throat> before you go running to your ex to tell her that you're a new man. So, to give you an example of what we did, we basically hammered out a tailored game plan. Every day, Julian had to do one action, at least one action, to proved to himself that he was no longer selfish. We needed to reprogram his brain so that he would really be credible in the eyes of the one he loves. So to give you an example, every Friday night, Julian went to a homeless shelter and he made sandwiches for the needy, community service, two hours, every Friday for a month. Every Saturday, he went to a retirement home and he read books with elderly people who basically didn't have family or friends to go visit them. And after a couple of weeks of doing that, Julian really started to change. He hadn't changed before he called me, 
But then it opened his eyes to how good it could make him feel to do things for others. So instead of running back to his ex-wife to tell her, hey, I've changed, I've changed, I told him, okay, Julian, we're going to devise a specific communication plan to make sure that this time you're going to be credible. Instead of telling her that you've changed, tell her about those things that you've been doing. Tell her how good it makes you feel and let her come to that conclusion on her own. We did that. And of course, Julian was able to convince his ex-wife that he was a new man. And she took him back. And Julian has been working ever since to make sure that he continues to work on himself, for himself, but also for his relationship. So if you too are dealing with a partner that's very stubborn, if you too feel like your ex isn't listening to what you have to say, take a step back. Think about how you can live your change over the, the medium term. You need to be credible. You can't change overnight. Your ex won't believe you. Otherwise, you would have during the relationship. Come up with a game plan. If you need help, reach out to us. Either Alex or I, it would be our pleasure to help you. Come up with this game plan to make sure that your ex will finally listen to you and that you will ultimately get back with the one you love. So this is Adrian. For more information, don't hesitate to go onto our website withmyexagain.com. You'll find tons of free content, videos, article guides, tons of cool stuff, and it will help you feel more in control and it will give you answers to your questions. So I look forward to see you on our website. Take good care and see you soon.